Tonight, Alan, a panel of five judges will be asked to decide whether Hollywood can hold that vote without permission from Westminster. The Scottish government was up for the decision. Good to talk to you this evening to give us an idea of what exactly we heard in court today, Dan. This came about after Nicola Sturgeon said she wants to hold another independence referendum this time next year. We know that we've discussed this numerous times, but James Eddy Casey claimed that this case should be dismissed and that the law that established Hollywood Reserve's decision-making matters regarding the union to Westminster and saw a referendum to break up the UK Woods commander this and his evidence his argument will continue tomorrow, and as a result, it's safe to say that there's a lot riding on what's decided here. Put that aside for a moment, however, and consider where people stand on independence. Here is what one polling expert told me earlier. Will the Scottish public still be split down the middle on independence if there were a referendum tomorrow? Half of those who would vote tell us that they would vote, according to Nicola Sturgeon, who has said she will treat the next general election as a de facto referendum and campaign for a single vote on independence. When it comes to timing, people are divided, about a third of voters said they wanted one next year, but then about a third after that, and about a third said they didn't want one at all. So but I think the biggest thing on people's minds right now isn't actually the constitution, instead, it's inflation and prices. That's where polling stands in terms of where people are most concerned. If you love the video please hit a like button and don't forget to subscribe the channel.